Hello and welcome to Globe Adventures, the channel that brings you the latest news and stories from around the world. I'm your host, Shaquille, and today we're going to talk about a serious and dangerous issue that affects thousands of people every year. People smuggling and false promises of safe routes to Europe being sold on social media. People smuggling is the illegal movement of people across borders for profit. It is a multinational business that involves smugglers from 122 countries, according to Europol. Most migrant smuggling networks are composed of both EU and non-EU nationals. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime estimates that people smugglers made $7 billion in 2016 from their activities in Europe alone. But who are the people who risk their lives and pay thousands of dollars to smugglers to reach Europe? They are mostly refugees and asylum seekers who are fleeing war, persecution, violence, and poverty in their home countries. They come from all regions of the world, but the majority are from Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. They often have no legal or safe ways to enter Europe, so they resort to irregular and dangerous routes, such as crossing the Mediterranean Sea, the Balkans, Eastern Europe, and Turkey. However, these routes are not only risky, but also often misleading. Many people are lured by false promises of safe and easy travel that are sold on social media by smugglers and their agents. These promises are concealed by a web of euphemisms that enable them to sidestep content moderation and law enforcement. They arrange trips and payments privately via direct messages and WhatsApp. Code words like donkey and game are used to promote illegal routes to Europe. For example, a video that appeared to show a group of men crossing the channel in a dinghy went viral on TikTok. The video was captioned, travel to Mexico to the United States, costs $8,000, 100% safe. However, this video was not only false, but also dangerous. It encouraged others to leave a safe European country and put their and their families' lives at risk. It also promoted the deadly business of people smugglers who often exploit, abuse, and abandon their clients. What these posts don't mention are the people who have died trying to make these crossings, or those forced to spend hours in unseaworthy boats in freezing waters. According to the International Organization for Migration, more than 1,200 people have died or gone missing in the Mediterranean Sea in 2021 alone. Many more have suffered injuries, trauma, and human rights violations along the way. The UK Home Secretary, Preeti Patel, has called for the removal of social media posts that glamorize these lethal crossings. She said they were unacceptable and even used by people smugglers to promote their deadly business. She also said that the UK government was cracking down on the despicable criminal gangs behind people smuggling and had prevented more than 4,000 people from making the crossing so far this year. However, some experts and activists say that the government's approach is not working and that more needs to be done to address the root causes of migration and to create safe and regular routes for refugees and asylum seekers. Enver Solomon, chief executive of the Refugee Council, said, The reality is that when fleeing war, terror and persecution, ordinary people are forced to take extraordinary steps to seek safety in another country, creating safe and regular routes to the UK through an expanded resettlement program, humanitarian visas, and reforming the restrictive family reunion rules is the way to effectively address the issue. That's all for today's report. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more news and stories from around the world. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will explore the impact of climate change on the world's most vulnerable communities. Until then, stay safe and take care. Goodbye. But before you go, I have a question for you. What do you think should be done to stop people smuggling and to protect the rights of refugees and asylum seekers? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I appreciate your support and feedback. See you next time.